Welcome to Small Talks, where we have small talks about a big God. I'm Krista Walker. Let's talk. If you use social media, you know that you can decide who you want to follow and friend, right? And there's also this special little button that you can click if the person you are following ever gets annoying or maybe they post too much and they're flooding your timeline or maybe they're super controversial. There's a special little button you can click and poof, they're gone. You know what I'm talking about, right? The unfriend or unfollow button. With just one click of a button, you can successfully unfollow anyone. I often wonder, as Christians, how often do we click the unfollow button on Jesus? Like when we decide to go our way instead of his, essentially we're clicking the unfollow button. When we decide to tell a lie instead of the truth, in that moment we are not following Jesus. And look, our world today doesn't need Christians who are iffy, who are on the fence, and one day they're walking with Jesus, and the next day they're not. The world needs to see committed followers of Jesus Christ. Jesus lays out in scripture pretty clearly what it means to follow him. In Luke chapter 9 verse 23, the scripture says, Then he said to the crowd, If any of you want to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. Now up to this point, Jesus had performed a number of miracles. He fed 5,000. He healed the women with the issue of blood. So consequently, he has attracted a crowd. Some of these people started following him probably because they were admirers or in awe and wonder of the things that he could do. Some of them started following him maybe because they were just plain old nosy and Jesus was the new kid on the block. This statement from Jesus probably wasn't the best statement to make if he wanted to keep the crowd around. Think about it. Jesus turns to a crowd and he says, hey, if you want to follow me, it's going to cost you something. So Jesus says to them, and he says to us today, you first have to give up your own way. So give up what you want and surrender your plan to Jesus and let him lead and direct your life. Essentially, he is saying that if you're going to follow me, you're going to have to unfollow yourself. A good question to ask yourself every now and then is, am I following Jesus or am I following myself? Like, am I living a self-directed life? Um, When it's time to make decisions, do I consider what God says or do I just do what I feel? Have I given up my own way? He also told them that they must take up their cross daily. Now really, if Jesus was concerned about keeping that crowd around, he probably shouldn't have mentioned the word cross. See, back then, The cross was a symbol of persecution, torture, and pain. Anyone carrying a cross was a dead man walking. They were on their way to persecution. So Jesus was basically saying, oh, by the way, if you're gonna follow me, there's gonna be a lot of persecution. You're gonna have to die daily. Essentially, he is saying that if you're gonna follow me, you have to unfollow your comforts. Following Jesus will be an inconvenient life. It won't be comfortable. I recently changed my diet and became a vegan. Now, I'm a vegan except when it comes to desserts. I love my comfort foods like cake, ice cream, milkshakes, far too much to let them go. I throw that vegan life out the window when it's time to eat desserts. Like for example, I won't order my pizza with cheese, but I'll eat cheesecake. I'm a vegan until it's inconvenient to be a vegan. I love desserts too much to give it up. I'm unwilling to let it go. Now, I'm sure there's things in our lives that we're unwilling to let go. Things that we won't completely surrender so that we can completely follow God. And lastly, Jesus said, once you do those things, you are ready to follow me. And that means that we listen and obey his instructions from his word. What I'm suggesting today is that we ought to unfollow everything to follow Jesus. Because if we don't, we will unfollow Jesus to follow everything. There's another place in the Bible in John chapter 6 where there was a crowd that was following Jesus and Jesus again says something very challenging to them and the scripture says that many people deserted him they left him they pressed the unfollow button then Jesus turns to his 12 disciples and asks them this question he said are you going to leave too 
And Peter gave the most incredible answer. John chapter 6, verse 68. It says, Simon Peter replied, Lord, to whom would we go? You have the words that give eternal life. Peter was saying, Lord, you are our only hope. If you're not the Savior, who is? See, Peter was convinced that there was no one greater. And the question I have for us is, are we convinced? that Jesus is the best thing, the only way. Do we live our lives in a way that says that Jesus is our only hope? He's our master and our savior. See, many people have placed their faith in Jesus, but what I wanna know today is, have you decided to follow Jesus? Give up your own way, carry your cross, and follow him. Let's pray. God, we ask your Holy Spirit to help us unfollow everything so that we can follow you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.